Good morning, guys. It is your coach, Tanya Gress, and of course I have a thought of my day today, and I'm not sweaty yet. I actually gave myself the gift of a little sleep today. My back had been bothering me, um, so I had a hard time sleeping last night. When my alarm went off, I was like, you know what? I have nothing planned today but a few errands with the kids because we leave tomorrow for the big beach body event in New Orleans. So, you know, we're just having a chill day. We're gonna run a couple errands because um, I got to mail out a couple new coach packets for the three new coaches that have joined our team this month. And then just going to uh, sit around, watch a little TV, and just have a lazy day with the kids before I go, some good quality time. Um, so I decided just to let myself sleep a little bit because I deserve that. I work really hard, and sometimes I'm physically and mentally exhausted, and I need to give myself that gift, and that is okay. But my topic I wanted to talk about today was behaviors. Um, I have this app that I love called Sprinkle of Jesus and I downloaded it a long time ago but I never set up the notifications. I wasn't getting them and my daughter has it as well and she was getting the notifications and she would send me a screenshot of the notifications like oh my god how did the app know I needed to hear this today and I was like wow I need to turn my notifications on on that and the notification I woke up to this morning was from last night and it said are you accepting behaviors that you would not want your mother or your daughter to put up with. And that just made me think like, holy shit, you know, oh, good morning, I see you guys hopping on, how are you? It made me think like, you know what, that is something great to think about. Like think back the behaviors that you're allowing people to do to you. And if your mother told you somebody was doing that to you, would you tell her that that's not something she should accept? She should not allow someone to treat her that way? Or vice versa, your daughter. If one of your daughter's friends was treating her a certain way, would you tell her that that's not acceptable? That that's something that she, you should not allow, that she shouldn't allow? Because if that's the case, then why are you accepting it? Why are you allowing those behaviors? Like it really made me think like, wow, shouldn't be allowing this. Like. I don't know, it just really got me thinking and I figured I would go live with you guys and talk to you about it because I never really thought of that. Like there's a lot of things that me and my daughter talk about and I tell her, I'm like, don't let people take advantage of you. Don't do everything for them and they don't do anything for you. And then I'm thinking, oh, and then I would give her an example of a, a friendship that I have or a relationship that I have that's like that, what I'm telling her she shouldn't accept in her life. And I'm like, huh, oh, hmm. Maybe I should be rethinking that relationship or that friendship. So it's just funny to me how that I woke up to that app and it's so true. Like if we're talking to a, even, even not just your mother or your daughter, but a girlfriend of yours, if you're talking to somebody and they're telling you about a relationship they have or a friendship that they have where somebody's doing a certain thing and we tell them that they shouldn't allow that, why are we allowing it? So I was thinking about that and I have a call to action because I'm going to do this call to action today and I want you to do it with me. Good morning. And I want you to do it with me. So here's your call to action today. I want you to take a moment and reflect on your relationships, not just your relationship with your significant other, not just the relationship with family members, but your friendships. Do you have friends that take advantage of you? Do you have friends that don't meet you halfway in, in that friendship relationship where you're putting in all the work and they ain't putting in shit? Do you have friends that never call to check on you? Do you have friends that don't act like friends? If you answered yes to any of those questions, why are they in your life? Like when I read that, that's exactly what I thought. I'm like, that's my call to action today. That's what I'm gonna focus on today. I'm gonna reflect on all my relationships, business, personal, friendships. I'm gonna reflect on all of them because you know how we do the spring cleaning and get rid of the negative. Well, to me, that's a negative. That's something that drags you down because it messes with your mind and it makes you question, why does that person treat me that way? So. Don't do that. Don't allow that to stick around. Clean it out. Make room for the good people that are supposed to be there. So that's my call to action today. I'm just getting ready to press play. Yes, it's later. It's okay. 
I'm feeling great. It's seven. I'm getting ready to do my workout, but I'm feeling fantastic because I gave myself some sleep. Sometimes we need that. Without sleep, I am a big old bitch and nobody wants that. So um, I'm going to get ready to go do my workout. As you can tell, my pre-workout is starting to kick in. I'm getting tongue-tied. But I just wanted to chat with you about that topic because it was something that I really... Um, like right when I read that, I was like, wow, I got to share that with them this morning. Um, I had a couple other thoughts in mind before I went to sleep. I was like, oh, I'm going to talk to them about that in the morning. And then I woke up to that app and everything changed. Um, but I mean, I, it's really great to reflect on that. And it's really great to think about it. I mean, you don't have to take a lot of time to reflect. It's something you can reflect on while you're taking a shower, while you're making your breakfast. You know, if you're working out, it's something you can reflect on while you work out, you know? Maybe you've already been reflecting on this and you just don't even realize it. But think about it. Think about the people that are in your life. Do they actually do something positive for you? Are they a positive impact in your life in one way or another? Even if it's a positive impact of you know that they love you. Even friendships. Friends can love each other. Doesn't mean that they're romantically involved. But even friendships. I have a lot of girlfriends that I love and they know that I would do anything for them. I would give them the shirt off my back. I have done it many times. So are they a positive impact? Do you know that they love you back? Do their actions show that? Reflect on those things. Reflect on your, your relationship with your significant other. Are there things that need to change in that? Make everything positive in life. It's the best way to be. And you have to start with yourself and the relationships you have with people. So go out there and have a great, great, terrific Tuesday. And I will see you later. Bye.